What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna jump right into it today. We are at Summit Racing. Summit Racing. And we got the Subi parked away as far as possible from the star. That's the way to do it. No dings. I still have about 500 miles left for my next oil change. But then I remembered we drove to LA and back. So I think it's best if we just swap it out now. It's actually an automotive retail store. So it's the only place where I can actually get Motul. Where I can just walk in and buy it. Unless I buy it online. Alright, we got all the oil that we needed. It's time to go wash the car. I've only washed it once since we got back from LA and it is absolutely filthy. So real quick guys before we head out, I just want to give a huge thank you to every single one of you who has subscribed to the YouTube channel. These last couple of months have been insane with the amount of growth. I've been watching a lot of our older videos and just to think that we've come this far with everything is like mind blowing to me. Thank you to all of you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button. It would help us out a lot. And we thank every single one of you. So the entire reason behind this color that I chose is because of how it looks in the sun. And damn, it is popping today. Check that out. It might not do it justice on camera, but it looks so good right now when it's hitting the sun. Damn. Damn, I wish you guys could see this in person. It is like super vibrant today. Look at that. Look at the blue. Oh, it looks so good. So you can tell over here in the shade it's a lot darker like a navy blue and then the trunk is like popping right now so i'm just gonna finish up drying the car and then i want to talk to you guys about something guys car is all clean now there's something that I really want to talk to you guys about but before we leave Reno you know we got to hit up that chick-fil-a I'm telling you guys, if you have not tried Chick-fil-A, you gotta try Chick-fil-A. So a lot of people have been asking what's next for the STI now that it's painted and back from SubiFest. People want to know if I'm going to keep doing cosmetic mods, if I'm going to get new wheels, if I'm going to start power mods, what am I going to do next? And to answer those people's questions, as far as how the car looks, I'm like super happy with it. Um, the color came out a lot better than I ever expected. The flares came out really good. Everything about it right now, I'm like super happy with, and I don't really want to change much just yet.
there's little parts here and there that I have ordered already that are just minimal cosmetic mods, but nothing too crazy. So cosmetic wise, I'm pretty happy with the car. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything big with that for a while. Maybe not till next summer now that I'm not going to be driving it. Let's pop the hood. And people want to know if I'm going to start doing engine mods. So this is just, just like the paint and everything else. I'm pretty happy with the way the car runs. Um, it could use a little bit more power right now, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. And I know that's going to upset a lot of you guys, but what I really, really want to get done is the suspension. I want to get this car all dialed in. I want it to be like a handling beast. Right now, this car, it looks good, but it handles really, really bad. My power steering rack has been leaking for the longest time, and I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And now that I'm getting more familiar with suspension and handling and all that stuff and I want to take it on canyon runs, I really can't until I fix that. So that's what's going to be next for the STI. Let me show you guys real quick what the power steering rack has caused me. If I go anything over 50 miles per hour, the steering wheel is shaking like crazy. Not only do I not like how the car handles, but it's super unsafe. Especially if there's any imperfections in the road, the car will literally like tug me to one side and then tug me to the next. As you can tell, that can get pretty dangerous. I could end up hitting another car or hitting a wall or something. And that's something that I just need to get fixed now. I think it might have been Ruben or Javier that was under there once. And they said that the power steering rack was literally moving side to side. Another thing that it caused was my toe and my alignment went completely off. And there's nothing I could do about it until I fixed it. But you guys probably can't see that deep in there. But these tires are only a couple months old and they're already completely shot. That's going to be another thing to the list is getting brand new tires for this thing. I think these aren't bad, they handle pretty well, but I think I'm gonna go for something a little more aggressive, a little more sticky. So we're gonna order a power steering rack probably in the next week or two, and then we are going to order the outer tie rods. I actually have a white line kit. Here, let me show you guys. So this is what I'm gonna be ordering along with the power steering rack. It's a white line front roll center adjustment kit. And then later down the road, I'm gonna be doing an anti-lift kit from white line as well. I just am so excited to finally get the suspension all dialed in on this car. I really enjoy canyon runs and like windy roads and all that stuff, but since this car hasn't handled very well, then I can't do that. So super excited to get everything dialed in. I think at this point it's just getting worse and worse, the handling. So, so excited to finally get it all done guys. The future for this build is going to be insane. I have so much planned still. And for those of you asking if I'll ever sell the car. I will never sell this car. It's going to be with me for as long as I can have it. Like I said, within the next week or two, um, I'm going to be ordering those parts. So power steering rack and then the white line parts. I'm also going to be doing white line bushings for the power steering rack. So I'm just excited, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm so excited for it. Ever since I met Ruben and Javier, suspension has like really caught my attention, especially when we did the 5x100 bolt pattern swap to the 5 by 114 that's when it like caught my eye so as far as engine maybe some small stuff here and there but probably not till next summer I just I want to spend all of winter and all of spring just getting the suspension dialed in because I'd rather have a well handled car than have it go fast and then you can't really go fast because it doesn't handle right so that's the plan for the STI hopefully you guys are excited and hopefully I answered your question on that. By the way, I came up here because our boy Claudio showed us this spot once and it is super nice up here for pictures. Check that out. Super open roads and really, really nice views. It's time for me to head out. I gotta get some gas and head back home before it gets dark. It's now getting dark at 5.30, which sucks, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We will catch you guys next time. What's it, Brian? Yes.